Welcome. GMG OpenColor provides its users with an accurate prediction of the final print with very little press data. Additionally, GMG OpenColor can predict what will happen if you swap substrates, change ink order, have a different dot gain or analogs, and even swap one color for another, all without going to press. With this capability, the connection with PAX has expanded upon this to provide the ability to rework separations or even eliminate them. First thing we need to do in open color is describe our press condition by creating a project. We'll choose flexo printing, paper cardboard coated. We've already got a characterization measured in for CMYK OGV, extended gamut printing. We'll name the project. and then I'll calculate the profile. If we needed to adjust the ink order, change the dot gain, or s even the substrate, we could do that before calculating, but in this case, we don't need to. Once the profile of the press condition is created, we can create a separation rule for packs. We'll go to the separation tab, choose our profile as our target color space. Before I can create my separation rule for packs, I need to define my ink settings. Once I've defined my ink settings, I can go into my separation rule. The separation rule defines what I want to emulate on that CMYK OGV press. In this particular case, it was a job that was printed on offset using CMY plus Pantone 469 instead of black, along with 301 and 248. We're going to prioritize the ink order and then calculate for the best match for each of the individual colors. We get a nice description here as to how close each individual color is. In this particular case, I'd like to see what I can do if I calculate without orange and green for 469. That's still an acceptable delta E for me. Let's take a look at cyan. That works, and then let's see what happens with 301. Instead of 1.48, we're getting a 263. So a little bit more than one delta E difference. That's going to be worth it for me not to put that extra ink on the press. Once I've got that separation rule calculated, I'm just going to publish it and then save it. Now it's ready for packs. Let's open up a job that was previously printed using the offset printing process using cyan magenta yellow plus three Pantone colors. The background is made up of two Pantones, 301 and 248. The cupcake is made up of 469 plus magenta and yellow. And the logo is made up of Pantone 301. What we need to do next is have open color calculate the best match for any overprints. If I want to see a color accurate preview, I'm going to select automatic. I'm now ready to reseparate the job, so I'll choose convert all. Now that it's converted, let's take another look at the separations. The background is now cyan, magenta, and violet. The cupcake is magenta, yellow, black, and the logo is now made up of cyan, black, and violet. To visually compare how the job previously printed versus how it will print now, undo the conversion. By using open color for the conversion, you're assured you're getting the best color match possible. Additionally, you may have noticed there's no need for orange or green in this job. Therefore, we can just go into our assets window inside packs and remove unused separations. So we just turned this job from a six color job into a five color job. One of the great things about PAX is the ability to convert on an object level basis. In this case, we'll bring it back to its original state as CMY plus three Pantones. And I'll select just one layer We'll select the cupcake layer and again I'll bring my overprint separations in and then when I convert just that selection I'm only converting 
the cupcake layer. You see the cupcake layer is now magenta yellow black, but the background is still the two spot colors. With the example I've just shown you, we converted this job to, the ex to an expanded gamut print process. But that's certainly not the only use case for the GMG Open Color Packs integration. If I needed to convert this job to a flexo press of just CMYK or possibly an offset press with just CMYK, it'd be as simple as choosing the corresponding project. I could even convert this job to a custom CMYK, substituting rhodamine for magenta. The possibilities really are endless. For more information, please contact your local GMG team member.